Are you the only one who dances to our, our theme tune? I love it. Anyway, good morning. How are you all? It's another magnificent Monday morning. And what a pleasure it is that you and I can both begin another week together right here on the AM show. It's going to be a rather big one. And so much is going on. I'll bet you've woken up to a number of WhatsApps on your phone about the story that Nana Pia Mensa Nana Mwan has been arrested somewhere in Dubai and was actually arrested sometime in December. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you this. If you want to know the truth from the rumor, you've already made the right choice. Just stay with us right here on the Joy News Channel and we will tell you everything you could possibly need to know about that particular story making the rounds. Don't listen to any of the big rumors. Just stay tuned right here. We'll tell you what the truth is and what the smoke is. All right, but stay tuned for that and other segments on your AM show. For example, we'll be doing AM talk. Andre Japa Mercer will be here. He's a NPP member of parliament for Secondly. Alassan Suhini is the NDC member of parliament for Tamale North. And you know those two, they certainly come prepared. And so we're going to have quite a conversation. Uh, and then uh, on Sunday, we heard that the Andani royal family had welcomed moves by government to improve security in Yendi Township for the continuation of the funeral of Yana Yakubu Andani. So how did all that go? We'll hear from our correspondents on the ground, all the detail about that particular unfolding uh, event. And then we'll have a discussion on the state of our overpasses with the N1 footbridge as the case study. Okay, Komla Adum has a package from there. You have probably heard and seen some pictures of um, some damage to that bridge. Well, we'll bring you all of the information, including whether or not it is a safety uh, hazard. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And of course, early Sunday, we got reports that the Marketing and Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Ports and Harbour Authority, Josephine Asante, has been stabbed to death. Now today, we'll bring you the latest on this uh, when Maxwell Agbaba uh, moves as he usually does. And then we'll wrap up the show with some showbiz news brought to us by a week purified water all right so all of that is in your future as long as you stay where you are but first here's your message from the morning man and i call it doves it comes in just a second